guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be a little bit different. I've done one of these videos before and I figured I'd do a little follow-up for you guys. So this is gonna be my top shelf makeup, which I consider to be the best of the best. The makeup that I go to every day, my everyday makeup, maybe it's new makeup that I wanna try, that I put in the most accessible drawer. What I mean by top shelf is literally top shelf. So here is my vanity and if you guys have watched my collection videos before you know I have a huge collection of makeup over here but by top shelf makeup I mean in this drawer right here this is what I lean towards and I go to grab makeup from every single day when I'm getting ready and I truly feel like it is the best of the best <laughs> so it kind of shifts and rotates throughout the seasons I think last time I did this was towards the beginning of the year, so I had a lot of like springtime makeup, um, maybe like wintry makeup, and right now I have a lot of my fall transitioning into winter makeup. So I thought it was a good time to do a little bit of an update for you guys, um, but before I do that I wanted to give you an overview of my vanity. I know you've seen this before, but it's changed a little bit and I'm getting out of breath. I don't know why, every time I film in this like behind the camera. I get out of breath when I'm talking. I don't I don't know why. It's so weird. So sorry if I sound like I just ran a marathon. I didn't. <laughs> Anyways, I wanted to give you a quick update of my vanity and the stuff I have on my vanity. So this is what it looks like. I've kind of cleaned it up a little bit since you last saw it. Um, my vanity, by the way, is from Ikea. And I will link as much of this stuff as I can find down below. So all of the, the desk, the mirror, um, the drawer dividers, if I can find it online, I'll link it in the description box for you so you can buy it. Because I always get tons of questions about that. So here's what the top of my vanity looks like. Um, actually, one thing that I have updated since you guys have seen, I got a new stool for my vanity. This is from um, Impressions Vanity right there it's one of the like here let me see if I can there we go it is a swivel stool which I think is pretty rad pretty cool so before I had um, the stool that was part of my old vanity so I got that a little while ago but anyways here's what the top of my vanity looks like so let me reposition I hope that the lighting is okay. I know like it's so hard not to get the glare of the lights and anything when I'm showing you mirrors and stuff. So this vanity from Ikea has a glass top which I really, really, really like because it's easy to clean. So there's that. Here's all my brushes. This is pretty much my entire brush collection other than the brush that I just got. I just got these brushes from Beautycon. Um, no, Gen Beauty. Oh my gosh, Gen Beauty. Um, so I haven't taken them out of the package yet, but other than that, this is pretty much my entire brush collection as of right now. So I have eye brushes, face brushes, and then these are kind of like my smorgasbord of backup brushes. <laughs> it's face brushes as well. So I actually made these little containers out of candle jars, if you're curious. So then I have these two sides here. This is just kind of like random stuff in each of these little pull-out drawers. I don't really go into those very much. I got my Q-tips, my beauty blender, my beauty blender bling, bling ring, which everybody always comments on. It's sold at Sephora. I'll link it down below for you. This is a new Kabuki brush I got from uh, Gen Beauty from the SL Miss Glam brand. Look at how freaking cute that is. So cute. Um, and then I got my makeup wipes over here, my setting spray, my foundation. This foundation, the Kat Von D Locket foundation, is amazing. But um, I find that you have to store it upright, otherwise the pump kind of clogs a little bit. So that's why it looks like that. And then I also keep a hair clip clipped to if I can show you guys right there, um, the side of my vanity so that it's easily accessible. And then this lighted mirror is amazing. It's a lifesaver. Um, one of the sides is just like a normal mirror and then if you flip it around, it is the magnetic, like the magnesize, uh, yeah, magnesize, magnesize? Sounds weird for some reason. And then you can turn the light on or off. So that's what's on the top of my vanity. 
Then I have my Alex 9 drawers, which if you want to see what's inside of those, that's like the biggest part of my makeup collection. I will link my most recent makeup collection down below so you can check it out because it takes a really long time to go through all of that. But I did want to show you what was on top. So this is new. I kind of rearranged up here a little bit. So this is a new addition to my makeup collection. This is a original beauty box. I have wanted one of these for ever and ever and ever. Since before I had a giant makeup collection, before I had YouTube, I wanted one of these forever. And I finally have one and I'm so stinking excited. So these are made out of acrylic and there's various depth sized drawers to kind of organize your makeup. And I feel like these are perfect for anybody who has makeup. Not even, you don't even have to have a huge makeup collection just your normal size, like average everyday person makeup collection, this is perfect. I love the fact that it's clear and you can see what's inside of it. Right now I have some brand new makeup in there that I just, just got. I got a whole bunch of Too Faced makeup. So I put it in here to remind myself to use it. Um, so that's what's in there right now, but you can use this for various, various reasons. I love this bottom drawer because it's deep enough to store a makeup palette like sideways, um, vertically. So that's really nice. And then there's little dividers inside of the drawers, if you can see right here. So you, oop, no, there we go. There's little dividers inside of the drawers that you can take out or keep in there um, to kind of help divide your makeup even more. And the top one is really nice. It's just skinny enough to where a lipstick would fit in there or you can put like one eyeshadow palette so like if this this actually isn't a lipstick it's an eyeliner but like it's just skinny enough to where you can put one row of lipsticks and it would just it would just look so cool um so this is the again it's the original beauty box i believe this is the deluxe size there's one that's bigger and there's one that's smaller so i'm gonna link them down below for you guys so you can check them out they're a little bit on the pricey side but i promise you it's like one of the best investments ever these are so heavy duty and so sturdy you can just wipe them down with a wet cloth to clean them they just I love them so much. I also have a 20% off discount code. It's not an affiliate link. I don't get any money from it, but it is a 20% off discount code. It's Melissa XO. I will link it down below along with the website if you want to check it out. So definitely recommend them. And then right above that, you've seen before, but that is my lipstick carousel from Sunny Cosmetics. And I love the fact that my beauty box doesn't have a lid that opens like this. So I can put stuff on top of it because some of these beauty boxes have a lid that has like a hinge and it opens. You can't put some stuff on top of it if, if you have those. So um, I can put my lipstick tower on top and it's just perfect. I love the way it looks. I think this turned out so stinking cute. So that is a new addition. All right, now let's get into the good stuff. So here is what my drawer looks like. I'm gonna pull it out and put it on top of the vanity so we can kind of dig through it, but that is what the drawer looks like at a glance. Okay, so here's what's inside of my top shelf makeup drawer. So this um, drawer comes with these little dividers in it, which is nice, and then sometimes it's not so nice because then you have to find stuff that like perfectly fits in there, you know what I mean? Like you can't put a giant palette in here, so it's good and it's bad, but these wooden dividers came in the drawer. These plastic dividers I got from the container store, and I kind of have it divided into sections. So over here I have mostly my face makeup, so powders, foundations, concealers, primers, stuff like that. The middle section is like my eye section, so eyebrows, eyeliner, mascara, eyeshadows, and then over here is cheek products, so I got blush, bronzer, and highlighter. So of course there's a little bit of like mixing, like I've gotten a little bit messy. This is totally like untouched, like I didn't fix this up for the video, I, this is just what it looks like all the time, so there might be a little bit of messiness there. So let's start over here in the face part. So this is pretty much what I use every day. My Kat Von D foundation, which is on top of my vanity, is my go-to kind of like glam or full coverage foundation. I don't wear foundation every day just because I feel like it's really heavy and um, I like to let my skin breathe as much as possible. So on a daily basis, I will just wear concealer and a colored powder. 
and that's it. So right now, the concealer that I'm using is the Too Faced Born This Way. I wear the color Fair. I'll let you guys know this isn't my favorite, but I have it and I want to use it and I don't want to waste it, but it's all right. I also have the um, Tarte Shape Tape in here, which I will use if I feel like my under eye bags are just out of control. I also use this when I use a foundation just because I think it looks better to have a full coverage concealer. This is very full coverage. Um, but the all over colored powder I use is the Too Faced Cocoa Powder Foundation. I wear the color uh, light and I just feel like this is the best. It's not full coverage, but it's not like translucent. It has color to it. And it's like the perfect happy median between like a radiant finish and a matte finish. I always prefer matte foundations and this has just like that little, it's like a natural finish. So yeah, so this is my everyday powder foundation. I have a translucent powder as well that I put on top of foundation. So if I'm wearing foundation, I will put a translucent powder on top of it. And then to set my under eyes, which I always have to set my under eye concealer or else it will crease on me, I've been using the Bare Minerals Well Rested. So that is that. Um, for primer right now, I'm using the Benefit Professional, just a go-to. This is also a really good foundation, and I kind of mix up the Kat Von D and this one, just depending on how I feel that day. So this is the Urban Decay All Nighter. Um, I wear the color 2.5. So that's what that is. And then in the back here, this is actually something that I bought a little while ago and I just haven't had a chance to use yet. It's the Bare Minerals Invisible Light Powder Duo. It has like the matte powder and the like slightly highlighty powder in there. And then this is kind of backup stuff. So I have my Lancome Foundation Stick in case I want to mix it up. I have some different colored concealers back here. So I have the Tarte Shape Tape in a different color. I have the Naked Skin. Um, this is the color Fair, which is just a tiny bit too light for me, but it's really nice to highlight with. And then I have the uh, pink color corrector in the Naked. This is actually my favorite foundation, or concealer, not foundation. This is actually my favorite, favorite concealer. I just ran out of the color that I usually use and I haven't repurchased it yet. And then I have another Backup Makeup Forever concealer. And then I have this primer right here, the Laure, the Girl On Laure um, Firming Primer. I like this primer, but I don't like to layer my primers too much on a daily basis, so that's why it's back there. Next section is the eye section. So in the back here, I have potted um, or single eyeshadows. So a lot of these are the Chanel uh, Illusion de Ombre cream shadows. Um, I do like to use these. They're really easy. I just use them with my fingers. I don't need to use a brush. So this is, uh, what is this one? Initi Initiation and New Moon. Those are like my two favorites. I also really like, there's a rose gold one. I think it's called Emerville. Love that one. Um, this is a YSL cream they call it a cream eyeshadow, I believe. Oh, it's an eyeshadow primer. It's a lot like the MAC Paint Pots, but it's a little bit more creamy. I have a Giorgio Armani Ar Eyes to Kill. These are really, really nice. Whoops. They're kind of like pressed pigments. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it. They're a tiny bit on the messy side. I do feel like you need to use a, like a MAC Fix fix plus when you're putting them on but they're super pretty and then this is a Christian Dior similar to the Chanel Illusion de Ombre a cream eyeshadow and then in the back here I have single powder eyeshadows I love these NARS dual intensity eyeshadows they're just so stinking pretty this one is my favorite I believe it's Callisto yeah Callisto and then this one is in the color Himalaya which is just like a nice brown color and then this is something that I bought because there was so much hype around it and I haven't used it yet. So I threw it in here to remind myself to use it. Oh, did I just mess up my polish? I totally just messed up my polish. Um, this is the Kat Von D Thunderstruck eyeshadow. It's really pretty, I just haven't had a chance to use it. In the front of that, I have some more eye products. So this is kind of just like a smorgasbord of all my pencil products. So I do have some lip balms also. I like to put lip balm on every day. So lip balm is in there. Oh, this is the other one, yeah, Emerville. I like this one a lot. Um, so I have an eyeshadow primer. This one is my favorite from NARS. I have two mascaras. 
uh, three mascaras. I kind of like to mix it up. One of them's actually lash extension mascara, which I don't need anymore, but I still have it. So there's that. I have a mixture of different eyeliners. I love to mix up my eyeliners. So I have liquids, I have pencil, I have purple ones, brown ones, black ones. Um, I have eyebrow pencil. This one's my favorite, Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer. I also have the Dior Brow Styler. I've had this forever, and I'm just trying to finish it up. It's a good one. I just like the Anastasia one better. And then lastly, this is my favorite like cream eyeshadow of the moment, the Urban Decay Liquid Moon Dust. I love it so much. This, by the way, I don't like. It's the Beauty Blender Liner Designer. I hate it. And then I have two little mini eyeshadow palettes. Look at this, you're gonna die. Look at how much I've used this. That's pan, I've hit on three of these eyeshadows. I love this Lorac Matte Pro Mini. I love it so much. And then the Tartlet Tease, I'm trying to ease into using this. I haven't used it as much as I would like to, but that's why it's in here. And then in the front, I have my eyelash curler and a blush palette. This is the Becca, what is it called? Blush with Light. This is a new palette that just came out. I really, really like it. I have been tearing up this middle color and this color over here, really super pretty. And then just a lip, lipstick? Yeah, lipstick. So cheek products have quickly become some of my favorite, favorite makeup products. So this is probably what I rotate the most according to season and stuff like that. So the bronzer that I've been using lately is the Benefit Hoola bronzer. I like it a lot, you guys. Um, it's a little bit darker than the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil, but I kind of like it. Um, I also use this to contour with too, so that's the bronzer I've been using. I have a mixture of highlighters. Um, this is a brand new one that I'm wearing today and I love it. It's from MAC. It's their Extra Dimension Skin Finish in Double Gleam. I really, really like it. However, I think I need to go get a new one because this is going to get super messy. Look at the pan fell out of it. Like, what? So I think I'm gonna exchange it for another one because that gets really, really messy, but I've really been liking that. I also have Becca Moonstone, which I've hit pan on. Love that. Um, this is the Tarte Exposed Highlighter. I've also used this to death. I don't know if you can tell, but this is like a really good everyday highlighter. It's not too much, you know? And then I have the Laura Mercier, what is this one called again? Illuminator, <laughs> and this is like the pinky one. I'm not super impressed with this. I bought this at um, Fame Expo, so I got it for 40% off, luckily, because I don't really like it that much. And then this is like, if I really want to glow, if I really want to glow, I will use my Artist Couture Diamond Dust and Cocoa Bling. And then I also have more highlighters back here. I know, I know. Um, the Hourglass, I haven't used this in a while. Um, Maybe I should try it out again. So that's the Hourglass Highlighter, a Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick in <clears throat> Pink Glow. This is really pretty. And then the Anastasia Beverly Hills <clears throat> Stardust. Excuse me. The rest is blush. I love blush, you guys. So Tarte Exposed, always a top shelf makeup product for me. This is the second one I have used. I finished up an entire pan of this, you guys. My favorite. So Tarte Exposed, um, these little rock blushes, I love them. I have them in a bunch of different colors. Um, I just really like the formula of them. See how creamy that is? And they just, they're so, look at that. So pretty, so this is in cinematic. I have a Becca blush in Flower Child. This is like a good, like if I don't know what to wear and I don't wanna wear exposed, I wear Flower Child. And then this is one from the Estee Edit, the Lori Lancome, no, L'Oreal, no, Estee Lauder. Good Lord. Um, Estee Edit, this is a really pretty everyday blush too. You can tell there's a trend in my favorite blush colors. I really love like the mauve like nude colors. Um, speaking of movie nude colors, I have all of the Tarte Naughty Nudes. So I literally have them all in here because here's Exposed. I love these so much. Um, I have another Lorac blush in the color Aura. This one is really pretty. This one actually might be my favorite of the Lorac blushes. It's kind of more of like a pinky. See that? Super pretty. Uh, let me get a makeup wipe really quick. I have two of the Burberry blushes in here. Ugh got makeup wipe stuff all over me. These are really, really good blushes, you guys. I just don't really like the packaging. I feel like that's too big and bulky for the product itself, but they're really nice blushes. Um, this one is in the color, 
candle cameo blush it's super pretty and it's like really pigmented but it's just I don't know something about the packaging I don't like and then this one is like a true nude blush and it's really pretty this one is in the color earthy blush you could also use this one as a contour because it's more of like a brown but those are really pretty those are always sold out online so I kind of swooped those up when they came back in stock and then last but not least I have all of my Urban Decay blushes in here Honestly, these just do not fit in my blush drawer over there, which is why they're up here. I don't use these on a daily basis. Um, the stuff in the very, very back of the drawers doesn't pull out all the way, so I don't see them, which is probably why I don't use them. But I do have four of these, so I have Obsessed, Video, TMI, and Fetish. I think Fetish is probably my favorite, and you'll see why in a minute. It's just that like kind of mauve color. All right guys, well that is an update on my top shelf makeup. The sun is being covered by a cloud right now, so perfect timing on that. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you like these kinds of makeup collection update type videos, let me know down below so I can film updates more frequently. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!